tally ho now you guys you have to see this this is truly remarkable yes that is the m1 macbook air but that monitor there is truly portable gaming monitor ips panel near enough 300 nits of brightness for a portable panel look there's no power source connected none no cables no power it has battery and you can game for like you know two and a half hours maybe three hours on battery with no power you can actually power it with a portable brick here a portable power brick if you run out of power so it really is truly portable it lives up to the name of portable gaming 240 hertz high res audio it has sound too now you might be thinking well who has enough room for this sort of stand here well you've got this foldable stand and by the way only the premium model comes with this it is expensive this thing but man come on 240 hertz gaming on battery wharf and yes you can use this you, you know foldable you know sort of stand so it just goes behind it you don't need this stand at the back there amazing i've actually had this thing here for like a couple of months now and i thought it was actually a laptop it was in the zeus box it had this actually come with this and I thought it was a laptop because I just looked at the bag and I go, oh, I've got another laptop to look at. Wow. Once I open the box, I go, what the frig is this? And I'm glad I opened the box because this is amazing. I've actually tested it on PCs. You can connect it via HDMI, which it's connected now. You can connect it via USB-C. So display port over USB-C. And we know it's going to work on PCs, right? But will it work on an M1 Mac at 240 Hz? Well, let's find out. So, so this is really easy to set up, of course. Let's go to display preferences. And if we have a look here, hopefully we can zoom in here. That says 1080p. Well, it says scale. Should I go to default for display? I'll click on default for display. What does that do? All right, default for display. And I can go to 240 hertz still. And this is on battery, right? 240 hertz works. There we go. 240 hertz. 1080p wolf come on are you for real and this has no power no power and the best thing for me is all right that stand might be you know carrying a bit around but carrying just this is a 17 inch display and carrying around just this case here and sort of you know you can use this as the stand that is truly portable i thought you had to have a power supply when i pulled out the power I'm like, well, how is this still on? I'm thinking, what am I getting power from HDMI now? This is like crazy. And no, it was actually, it has a battery. I can't believe this thing. This is just amazing. And it's a quality IPS panel. It's pretty bright. It gets to about, you know, 290 nits or near enough 290 nits I've measured and nearly 100% sRGB. Let's just say 100% sRGB, it's that close that it's not even worth mentioning. And yes, let's have a look. How fast is the arrow going? Oh, look at that. Oh yes, baby. That is 240 hertz of goodness, watching it at 24 frames per second. But I just thought I'd share this with you. I'm gonna do a full review on this and just stay tuned because this is great. This is awesome. I'm definitely getting one of these. You know, even for content creation, it's 100% sRGB. Maybe you have to calibrate it, but who cares, right? You can use this as a secondary monitor and actually 17 inches. Let's have a listen to its sound. We'll actually display the sound. Actually, it'll be very interesting to see if this Mac sound output. Yes, I can choose it. Wolf. Yes, I can actually choose it. So I'm going to choose that. We're going to have a listen to the speakers. You know it. You know what's happening tonight at House's House. (laughs) 
Oh, that sounds excellent. That sounds really good, actually. Not too bad, I've got to say, for built in. So having a listen back at that. All right, they're not earth shattering. They're not the best speakers in the world, but they were put to shame some TVs. They were put to shame some of the inbuilt speakers on like on 27 inch or 30 inch monitors where you'd think, oh, it's such a big monitor, you'll be able to have good speakers. This thing here would put some of those to shame. So I'm mighty impressed with this thing and we'll have to do a gaming review on this, but just, man, I'd have to share this with you. And I'm actually pumped that you can actually use it on an M1 Mac. So yeah, stay tuned. Catch you next one, guys. Tally ho.